Happening now, first on four, dozens of firefighters from across the valley are packing into Harlingen City Hall in protest of the recent demotion of the fire chief. Action Force Daisy Barrera joins us live outside City Hall with more tonight. Right, and I'm here standing outside Harlingen's City Hall, and I can tell you by the look of this parking lot, it's a packed house. Just Friday, City Manager Carlos Llerena told Action 4 News that Fire Chief Michael Rinaldi had been demoted because he just wasn't the right person to lead the department going into collective bargaining. Now, that surprise move has left many in the Firefighters Association feeling shocked, questioning the move, and without a real job stability. Now, many of them, even some firefighters as far away as McAllen, have turned up tonight to see what city commissioners will do next. Abrupt, all of a sudden, uh, with no real cause. That's how Harlingen Firefighters Association President Lieutenant Jose Ruedas describes former Chief Michael Rinaldi's demotion to lieutenant. It's left the department in limbo, Ruedas says, without a sense of direction and feeling as if city leaders are picking on family. Without cause, we felt like, you know, they, they took away our, our older brother or, or maybe even our dad, you know, the head of our department. Now the position Rinaldi has held for over four years is up for further discussion in executive session at tonight's city commissioners meeting. This following the creation of a public safety director position that many spoke up against. It turns out that it's a police chief with extra duties. Saying the position would eliminate advancement opportunities for both firefighters and police officers and maybe even the chief spots since the public safety director will ultimately head both departments. I honestly believe he couldn't do both without assistance and we at the time thought that's where uh, Chief Rinaldi was going to come in. Reda's reasoning behind the creation of the post? I have no facts but other than to uh, bring uh, Tom Winton back. In fact, Tom Winton, who just left the police department in December for a job in El Paso, is one of the candidates that applied for the job. After just over a week of the job being posted on the city's website, it's now been removed, and the job is up for discussion in executive yes. session. Rueda says city leaders did not break any laws in demoting Chief Rinaldi the way they did, but... As far as uh, ethics and character, uh, maybe. But again, we didn't expect uh, Rinaldi to be re relieved the way he did. It was, and it was more of a rumor, but uh, it, it immediately became fact. Now, Rada tells us that by law, the fire department must have a chief, but it's unclear what city commissioners will do tonight. However, action for new sources tell us that there is the other possibility that a former McAllen fire chief by the name of Roy Rubio could be brought in to take that top spot at the fire department. Right now, our very own Marcy Martinez is, is, is inside following all the developments of this story. Of course, she'll bring you the latest tonight at 10. For now, in Harlingen, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News. And that meeting got kicked off around 530. Again, we'll have the latest tonight at 10. You could share your thoughts about the changes in Harlingen's leadership on our network of social media pages. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, on ValleyCentral.com.